Hello, my name is Vidya Rajagopalan. I'm Vice President of Engineering at Xilinx, leading the processing platform developments in our headquarters here in San Jose, California. I'm here today with Dipesh Patel, Vice President of Technology, Physical IP Division at ARM. Together, we would like to introduce you to the new Zinc 7000 family, the first generation extensible processing platform from Xilinx. Thank you, Vidya. Hello everyone, I'm pleased to be able to talk to you about this new technology and how it is creating new design possibilities for embedded systems. What we have seen over the years is that although the software programmability of process codes remains an important aspect of any embedded processing system, there is still a constant requirement for hardware programmable solutions around those processes. There are several factors that drive this. In today's increasingly competitive environment, Differentiation is the key for software as well as the hardware front. In addition, because of reduced development costs and increased time to market pressure, companies are required to look at platform approaches that leverage their investment from one product to another. And since these products have different functions and features, there is a need to tailor the hardware to a specific product while retaining that platform approach. Lastly, while standards and regulations ensure a wide range of compatibility and efficiency across platforms, they can also require development teams to create flexible solutions to accommodate for late standard definitions and regulation changes along the design and lifetime of the product. So what this means is that many ARM users end up adding an FPGA next to their ARM processor in order to create a more flexible solution. While this addresses the flexibility challenge, it has some limitations in terms of performance, power consumption, and board space. Indeed, those are some of the key challenges we had in mind when defining the extensible processing platform and creating the Zinc 7000 family of devices. These devices are the combination of programmable logic and a processing system based on the advanced multi-core application features of the ARM Cortex-A9 with two cores tightly coupled in the same piece of 28 nanometer silicon. Some of you may be wondering, so what is it? Is it an ASSP or just another variant of the 28 nanometer Xilinx FPGAs? Well, it's actually none of the above. Because of the values that the Zinc 7000 product family brings to the market, it deserves its own category of products that we are now calling extensible processing platforms. Devices in the Zinc 7000 family range from 30,000 logic cells or 400,000 or so of equivalent customizable ASIC gates on a low cost, low power programmable logic all the way up to 235,000 logic cells or 3.5 million of equivalent customizable ASIC gates on a higher performance but yet still cost optimized fabric. This offers a large set of options to designers to meet their system requirements in the most cost-efficient way. The processing system is built around two ARM Cortex-A9 cores with instruction sets that have been enhanced with the addition of the ARM Neon extensions and a single and double precision floating point engine. With this comes a comprehensive interconnect based on the latest revisions of the ARM AMBA AXI interconnect and a large set of peripherals designed as hard blocks. A dynamic memory controller supporting DDR2, DDR3, and LPDDR2. A static memory controller supporting QSPY, NOR, and NAND flash. And CAN, Ethernet, USB, SDIO interfaces, and more. Now the real value of the Zinc 7000 family lies in the way the processing system and programmable logic are connected to one another. What you can see on this block diagram is that there are up to nine high-speed AXI interconnections between the programmable logic and the processing system. You have four 32-bit and four 64-bit AXI interfaces allowing a level of throughput between the two that no other two-chip solution could ever offer. Adding to that is a 64-bit accelerator coherency port that allows the SNOOP control unit of the processors to interface directly with the programmable logic. 
This enables designers to create a coprocessor in programmable logic with a fast interface from the processor. You also have, although not represented here, interrupts, DMA control, and much more, adding up to nearly 3,000 connections between the two. All this enables system architects and designers to do hardware software partitioning without worrying too much about the throughput between the two domains. This tight integration also means much lower power. Connections, like the ones on the Zinc 7000 devices, are a hundred times more efficient than I.O. connections between two chips when it comes to power. And the integration in a single device means lower cost and lower board space. And lastly, another important aspect of this pr product that sets it apart from previous processor and FPGA integrations is the fact that the processing system boots first and is in control of what happens in the rest of the system. It is the processing system that configures a programmable logic and manages its power and frequency by slowing it down or turning it off when needed. The way Xilinx integrated the dual Cortex-A9 processing system and the FPGA look very appealing, no question. But when it comes to embedded processing, there are other values that architects and software developers are looking for those being a standard programming model and a comprehensive ecosystem of partners. ARM has built its success not only on our low power architecture and a standardized ISA, allowing easy migration from one ARM core to another, but also by ensuring the broadest support across the design chain through our connected community, which is the industry's largest network of partners and third party companies supporting the ARM architecture. With the Zinc 7000 family being built on a dual Cortex-A9 architecture, designers looking at Zinc 7000 devices will be able to migrate their current design efficiently from one ARM base design to another. And the fact that all the Zinc 7000 family members share the exact same processing system allows designers to reuse one design for many different products with minimal changes to their software. This is a real advantage for companies that need to develop several products where one size does not fit all, and also need a flexible and scalable solution. On the partner side, Xilinx will be able to leverage the ARM Connected community to ensure industry support. What is also exciting for us at ARM is that since Xilinx is standardizing all of its IP on the AXI4 interconnect, many of the Xilinx partners are coming to augment the ARM Connected community, who will be able in turn to leverage the Xilinx Alliance Partner Program. On this note, we have already announced support for many of our partners. The Xilinx Alliance Partner Program will provide support for the most popular vertical market and regionally focused embedded software tools and solutions. This would include open source and major commercial distributions. As you can see, this is a very exciting time for Xilinx and we believe for the industry as well. Many customers from various markets have expressed their strong interest in this new family of products and we are excited about the current developments from several customers in our early access program. For more details on the Zinc 7000 family, please visit www.xilinx.com zinc and don't hesitate to contact your sales representative for deeper dive presentations about this exciting new product. With that, I would like to thank Deepesh for joining me today, and you for watching. Thank you very much.